What's up, family? Welcome back to another episode of Let Us Pray here on the Holy and Healthy YouTube channel. I'm Coach Tate. I'm a health minister, holistic health coach, and nutrition therapist here in the D.C. area. And Let Us Pray is a weekly show whose goal is to motivate, educate, and inspire Christians to live a holy and healthy life through nutrition education and the Word of God. Now, I know in past episodes, we've strictly talked about a few of the food scriptures uh, in the Bible. But today we're going to talk about another type of wellness scripture. <clears throat> we're going to talk about uh, scriptures that deal with mental and emotional wellness. And in past episodes, I told you to think about your body as a car as far as food is fuel, because the temple that God has loaned us is a multi-million dollar machine. And if you drove a million dollar car, what type of fuel would you put in it? Because if you continue to put low grade fuel in a high performance vehicle, it's not going to perform the way it was designed to perform. And the same thing goes to our, for our bodies. We have to put high grade fuel, which are fruits, vegetables, uh, into our body so it doesn't break down. We continue to put bad foods, uh, high, high sugar foods, highly processed foods, a lot of fast foods into this temple is going to break down. But also, just like a car, we have four areas. A car has four tires. We have four areas that need to be uh, inflated and balanced at all times. That's mental health, spiritual health, emotional health, and physical health. If one of those areas is running low or flat, we can't go to where God is trying to take us, just like a car. So we have to check the air pressure in those areas every single day. Make sure that you check the, the status of your mental health, your spiritual health, your emotional health, as well as your physical health every single day. Because I want you to go where God is trying to take you. So also another, th another example of that is <clears throat> think about a chair. If a chair has four legs, which of you would want to sit in a chair that only has two legs and, and two of the legs are missing? You know that chair is not going to be balanced and it's not stable. So therefore, just like that chair has four legs, let's make sure that all four areas of wellness are secure, balanced, and it has structure to it. So today's wellness scripture is going to come from Matthew chapter 6, verse 27. And that says, Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature. And it says the same exact thing in Luke chapter 12, verse 25. So which of you by worrying can add a cubit to his stature or a year to your life? Worry, stress, anxiety, fear, it drains, it depletes, it actually breaks down the body. It doesn't add years to our life, it takes years away. And in the Bible, God says to fear not, um, talks about anxiety, talks about fear, 365 times. There are 365 scriptures that talk about this. So that's one for every single day of the year. God knows what stress, fear, and anxiety does to the body. And so he wants us to rely on him and not allow the fear and the anxiety to grip us. And now I understand we're living in stressful times with, with covid um, the pandemic, financial issues, loss of loved ones. We're coming into the holiday time where uh, it's it's happy for some people and it's sad for others because of the loved ones that have been lost. So there is <clears throat> stress, there is fear, there is anxiety. But I want to encourage you to make sure that you read your word. And we're going to talk in the next several weeks about some of those wellness scriptures that talk about mental and emotional wellness. So Matthew 6, 27, Luke 12, 25. Which of you by worrying can add years to your life? If you feel worried, make sure that you give it to the Lord and don't try to hold, it, hold on to it yourself. Make sure that you give it to him. And we'll talk about that a little bit more because you can eat the best foods, the best organic, local foods, in the world but if your mental and emotional health is struggling you're unhealthy so we want to be complete we want to be healthy in every single area of our lives 
So that means that while we're getting our food and, and, and getting our plates together, as far as the foods that we're consuming, we want to eat better, but we also want to think better. Okay. It's very important that we do so. Also think about it this way. You think about fat, fat can get inside your arteries. It can uh, clog your arteries and prevent blood from flowing. And if we continue to eat the wrong foods, then we can build up a lot of gunk in our arteries. Blood cannot flow. And if blood cannot flow uh, cleanly, if it cannot flow consistently, we get sick and we can die. But also, there's a lot of mental and emotional fats that we have in our mind that block the blood of Christ from flowing freely in our lives. And if that blood can't flow freely, we get sick and we die. So while we work on losing the, the physical fat, make sure that you lose the mental and emotional fats first. Once you lose the mental and emotional fats, the physical fat is much easier to lose. So whatever is blocking God from your mind and from your life, that's quote unquote fat. We need to lose it. We need to get rid of it so that we can be healthy inside and out. So I hope this video has helped you. If you find it beneficial, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you get an alert every time a new episode of Let Us Pray is posted. So I wish you guys well. I wish you a very Merry Christmas. And I wish that you continue, may God continue to keep his hedge of protection around you and his healing hands on you. And I pray for complete and total wellness in your life where you are healthy mentally spiritually, emotionally, and physically. I love you guys, and I'll see you next week.